striking swiftly, passing in only seconds. The tornado leaves behind it a path of incredible destruction, and all too often, death. One of the most violent acts of nature, it is a major concern of the Weather Bureau, part of ESSA, the Environmental Science Services Administration. These are the danger signs, for the violent turbulence of the thunderstorm is the spawning ground of tornadoes. Little that can be done today to lessen their destructive force, but much is being done to predict and warn of their approach. In open countryside, the degree of danger from tornadoes is less. Homes are widely distributed. But as we become more and more an urbanized society, the odds are greater for tornadoes touching down in populated areas and inflicting heavy damage on people and property. At the same time, those of us who live in and around our towns and cities often do not have unobstructed views of the horizon. We are hemmed in. We are crowded together. We cannot see or hear a tornado coming. For that reason, we are more dependent on a warning system that alerts us when tornadoes approach, tells us how to minimize damage to our property, and reduce the risk of injury or even death. Part of that system is the National Severe Storms Forecast Center in Kansas City, Missouri, the focal point for ESSA's nationwide severe storm warning network. In a given year, more than 600 tornadoes can be expected to touch down in the United States, any place, at any time, day or night. It's the job of the severe storms forecasters in Kansas City to keep on the lookout for that special combination of weather conditions known to cause severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. Around the clock, the watch is kept. Weather information is received from all parts of the country. Temperature, pressure, humidity, wind. The data fed into computers and digested. Reappear, printed on maps of the United States. Not just one type of map, but five. Representing five elevations up to 40,000 feet. Thus, the severe storm forecaster has a three-dimensional view of the flow of forces that make up our weather. Each morning, the night shift forecaster briefs the day man on the outlook for the next 24 hours. Late reports projected to this map show thunderstorm activity is expected on a line across the southern central United States, and there is a good chance some of the storms can be severe. A low-pressure system moving eastward is drawing in a tongue of warm, exceptionally moist surface air from the Gulf of Mexico, with low-level, very dry, hot air from the southwest and cold, dry surface air from the north, all on a collision course. When these out-of-balance air masses meet, the reaction will be violent. How violent? It is this forecaster's job to find out. As the morning progresses, he orders additional upper air temperature soundings. Sharp temperature drops above the warm, moist surface air can indicate the formation of a very severe storm. Later in the morning, the information arrives back at the forecast center. Above the huge air mass, the temperature drop is considerable. Local reports show a line of growing cumulus clouds. Radar scopes are beginning to pick them up. A severe storm is in the making. And now a new danger must be considered. 11.20. An urgent request is made for high-altitude jet aircraft in-flight reports of winds along the jet stream. Reports through the FAA Air Route Traffic Control System show 150-knot headwinds at 37,000 feet ahead of the storm's path. The stage is set. The hot, dry air mass meets the moist gulf air. A squall line forms. Turbulence grows as the cold front moves in. As these storms move into the influence of the strong jet aloft, they can become more intense. These are the ingredients needed to trigger tornadoes. 
The forecaster estimates that in about three hours, a line of towering thunderstorms will converge on this area. Some will be of tornado intensity. A final check of his data, and he moves into action. A tornado watch is transmitted to alert all points in the threatened area. Many miles away in this unsuspecting community, there is no thought that trouble might be brewing beyond the horizon. The storm clouds are still far away, and life goes on as usual. Everything is normal, except at the local weather bureau office. There, the word has been received. There is a possibility of tornadoes in the area later in the day, 12.13. The meteorologist in charge sets into action a pre-arranged emergency watch. Public officials are contacted, law enforcement agencies, emergency and civil defense forces, newspapers, radio and television stations. 